Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how I propagate sweet potato slips for my summer garden. So I potted this up about six weeks ago. You might remember from a previous video that uh, I will link in the end. And on that video I took the one existing uh, large size sprout and I potted it up and here it is. So you can see it's put on a good amount of growth. I had cut off all the larger leaves at that point and all of this is new growth. And I can even see some roots just starting to come out of the holes in the bottom of the pot. And so today I have three more slips that I can take off of this and put into their own pots. So I have three pots already full of soil here ready to go and rather than waiting and watering it at the end, I'm going to pour water into this tray which does not have any holes in it. Now those pots are going to soak up the water from the bottom. And I like to do this especially for slips and cuttings without any root systems yet so that the soil stays nice and loose for those roots to grow into. There's also no need for the top of the soil to be completely saturated because that's not where the bulk of the roots are going to grow in the first place. So now on to the slips. I think I'm going to take this one first. And the leaves are starting to yellow a bit. You can look at the difference in color between these and this one that's been potted up that's likely a lack of nutrients. Although I would have thought that it would be getting all the nutrients it needs from the actual uh, potato itself, but, but we'll see if it improves when I get it into a nice fresh pot of soil. So I'm going to find where the slip meets the plant and I'm just going to twist it and it should come off fairly easily. Yep, there we go. There are even some stems starting to grow in between the main stem and the leaves. So what I'm going to do is cut off the older leaves. They're looking a bit rough anyway. And this is exactly what I did with the original one that I just showed you. There, I'm going to cut off those bottom ones too because this part is going to be under the soil. So I've got this here so that I can make a little hole in the soil. The stem is fairly strong, so this isn't a vital step, but there. And I'm not going to press that down at all. I'll just give it a little tap and that will be just fine. So I'm gonna take the second one off right here. And the same thing, I'm just going to twist it a couple of times not pulling at all and just twisting it. This one's taking a little more effort than the last one. There, I did have to pull a little bit. Now, if we have a closer look at this, these tiny little dots right here above my thumbnail are root nodes. And as soon as I pot this into the soil, those will sense the moisture and the darkness and they'll start to grow pretty fast. And these come all the way up the stem too. There's a couple more right there and even up at the top right there. These plants like to trail across the ground and then they will root almost anywhere they touch the soil. So these are not difficult cuttings at all. So I'll do the same thing as the other one. We'll just make a little bit of hole. And I'm only going about halfway down the pot because I don't want to bury those leaves. There. Move the soil over a little bit so it doesn't fall over, but I'm not going to press it down at all. And there's our second one. So the third one I'm going to take off the side and first I'm going to clip the growing tip off and take this leaf off from down here, I think. Otherwise that one will be buried beneath the soil level. There, this is much younger, so I exp oh yeah, look at that. So this is a much younger shoot, so that one came off really easily. But there are still some nice little root nodes right there, right there, and up there. So I'm going to bury it to this point here. There we go. So the top of the soil is still fairly dry, but I can see that the water level in the tray has gone down 
quite a bit already. So I know there's a good amount of moisture in the bottom of these pots and I'm just going to let them sit there until all that water has soaked in. So that is four slips in total that I've gotten off of this plant and I have two more of them right here that I'll probably pot up within a week or so.